Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome back. Cancer, this is going to be your love reading for February. If you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, what messages do we have? Okay, this one. We have Keep Your Thoughts Positive. You may be... Kind of doing a lot of negative thinking at the moment um but i feel like cancer that's all in your head you know that's just your negative thinking that's someone trying to come in to steal your joy at the bottom we have celebrate yourself you deserve it so stay positive cancer keep a positive mindset speak kind things to yourself because I feel like you're kind of on the negative side right now. Um, maybe you're going through some things that are making you feel this negativity. But I feel like you can push through these feelings. You can push through these negative thoughts and bring more positive affirmations into your life. You may want to post affirmations um, that are more positive. You know, so that you can read them to yourself. That's very, that's really very beneficial for you. Okay, let's get some more cards for Cancer. Let's get some more cards for Cancer, please. We have regret. So yeah, that's those negative feelings that I was, that I was really feeling for you. <clears throat> I feel like you're going through moments of regret. There's something that happened in the near past that. It, you're kind of feeling some sort of way about I know that I cannot change the past you may have said something to you or someone may have said something to you that has put you into that thought process that has put you into that feeling of regret something that maybe you have left behind that you may need to take a second look at um, but I feel like <laughs> you're trying to find balance and I feel like that's coming towards you, Cancer. You're going to find the balance that you need. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my life. And I do so without judgment. Yes. So I'm really liking this. I'm liking that you're moving past these feelings. Um, at the bottom we have health. So you may need to focus on some kind of health concerns at the moment. There may be, it, it may be health that's on your mind. Um, but I feel like you're going to find balance in this situation, Cancer. You're going to get back to your harmony. Okay, let's get some tarot for Cancer. What is going on with Cancer, Spirit? What's going on with Cancer? We have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like with this situation, I feel like you are in need of support with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like someone's going to come in to offer you some sort of advice that's going to get you uplifted, that's going to put you into a better mood. Um, this could also be someone coming in who's very generous, who's um, kind of thinking about you a lot, Cancer. There's someone who's constantly got you on their mind you know yeah we have the hangman so i feel like you're you're really spending a lot of time alone with this hangman i feel like you're deep in thought you're contemplating your next move cancer um this could also be you changing your perspective about a situation the judgment card yeah um, I'm, I'm feeling like with this judgment card, I'm feeling like you're feeling judged. You're feeling like someone is judging you for something that you're doing. Something that you could be doing differently. Um, but I really feel like, you know, you need to take action on this cancer. Um, this could be in love. You could have your, your, your mate or a girlfriend or boyfriend 
who's kind of saying, you know, Cancer, why don't you just do it this way or do it that way or you need to go about things this way. I really feel like this is you feeling judged in this situation, but you're going to find some kind of answers that are going to bring you more clarity to your situation. We have the Seven of Wands. So yeah, I, I totally feel like this is you defending your position in the situation you're 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 defending yourself you're defending your beliefs whatever that you're you're doing at the moment you're feeling <clears throat> like you're you have to protect yourself you know and i feel like oh my goodness cancer yes you definitely feel like you're protecting yourself you're putting yourself in this box cancer and I, I feel like with this situation, oh my goodness. Don't, don't drift off into some kind of depression. I feel like this is you being in need of someone's advice because you're kind of drifting off into this depressive state. Um, spending too much time alone, spending too much time within yourself, kind of blocking yourself in, boxing yourself in in the situation. Um, <clears throat> I really feel like you need to break free of this Nine of Swords energy. Yes, definitely I'm liking this. Okay, so this is, this is energy that, yes, you're definitely feeling, yes, you're definitely feeling this energy but I feel like you're moving away from it you're moving away from this energy into a more calm space you're finally finding your balance you're finally finding that momentum that's pushing you past this depression and okay it's beautiful the yeah, other something that had to end so that something better can come about and I feel like this is you putting a stop to something that's holding you back that has been having you bound. Um, if this is a love situation, I, I see yourself freeing yourself from the situation. Maybe this is a negative person that you need to get away from. Uh, but I feel like there's big changes being made. Yes, you're going on a new journey. You're taking risks. You're finding what brings you happiness, Cancer. And I feel like you're going on this new journey. You're going on this new discovery. Um, you, I, I feel like you really don't have a set destination. But I feel like you're following the journey anyway. You know, I feel like you're just following where the road leads you. Very interesting. Let's get some more messages for Cancer. Let's get some messages for Cancer. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely going to find your happiness. You're definitely going to find more stability. More solid ground. Um, but it's going to happen after this tower moment. It's going to happen after you see this different perspective. Uh, after you set yourself free from this box that you've been in. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands energy. So I feel like whatever this energy is, I feel like you're moving past it. You're moving past it with good momentum. You're finding new things to think about. Uh, this could also be someone helping you through your journey or you going on an adventure. Um, but I, I feel like you're, you're seeing a bigger picture. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that you see the bigger picture like you're making plans and they're bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. You're finding that balance. You're finding that happiness again. And I feel like you're doing so because you're you're finding this risk as a new adventure. You're, you're beginning something again, you know. After this tower moment, you have the full. So there's definitely a new beginning after this ending. And I feel like this new beginning is going to be very beautiful. 
it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. What else do we have for... Yes, you're finding your purpose. You're finding enjoyment in life again. I feel like this is secrets being revealed to you. Um, this is you following your path with no intended destination. You know, I feel like, you know, with this moon card, with the moon and the fool, the, the moon is guiding you on this destination. The moon is very feminine energy. Um, and I feel like it's like mysteries being revealed to you. It's you following that destination with love, with anticipation, with excitement. Beautiful energy. This could also be an offer that's coming in for you. This could be a love offer that's coming in. Because I feel like you're moving away from something. And I feel like with this Page of Wands energy, I feel like it's bringing excitement to you. It's bringing more exhilaration, more joy, more happiness. This is something that you're very excited about. This is good news coming your way, Cancer. So I feel like you should have your ear to the ground because, you know, something's coming that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. And it's something that had to end in order for this new beginning to arrive. Some Something that you're going through is done and over with. It's, it's gone. It's opening up to this new beginning, to this new adventure that you're going on. I'm, I'm seeing that you you just need to wait for this to arrive. But take initiate, initiative, you know. Um, use your resources wisely. This could also be you watching your resources very wisely. Because I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like there's more stability coming your way. There's more solid ground. Um... The Queen of Pentacles, she's very resourceful. She's very reliable. She works very hard for what she has. And I feel like with this energy, after this is ended, you see new possibilities, new opportunities coming your way. You know? Beautiful energy, Cancer. But I feel like this had to end in order for the better opportunities to come. Exactly. You're definitely getting some kind of good news. There's something that you've been waiting for. There's something that... The process had to be complete in order for this good news to come through. Uh, this could be a job offer. This could be money coming in. This could be money that you've been waiting for. Um, but I feel like it's bringing you a lot of new opportunities. You're, you're feeling on top of the world with this. You feel like your wishes are being granted. Like you're creating something that's very meaningful. Something that, that's going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of satisfaction. You're creating this. You, you have manifested this into creation. Okay? Um, wow. If this resonates in love, let me know. Because this is supposed to be your love reading. But I feel like this is kind of all over the place. Um, yeah, you're getting victory. You're getting victory. You're making plans. The Three of Wands, she's going on this adventure. She's making plans for travel. You know, and I feel like this is, this is also your team coming in to kind of support you, to keep you lifted up, to keep you balanced. Um, with the, the Three of Wands, this is new fire, new passion, new exhilaration. Uh, this is something coming through that's bring, going to bring you a lot of happiness. If this is love, I feel like you're going to meet this person or you're going to spend more time with this person in a social setting. Um, but I feel like, you know, with these pages, this could be an invitation for you. You also have the, the Knight of Cups. So this could be an offer that's coming through for you that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of good news, a lot of satisfaction. Okay, let's get some love cards. Okay, 
Cancer, we have balance. And that's exactly what you're in need of right now. You're in need of more balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Beautiful energy. Let's get one more for Cancer. One more for Cancer, please. This one. Okay, we have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. Yeah, and I, I feel like with this situation, you're going to be in a more social setting. Someone is going to make you feel more balanced, more aligned with the purpose that you have for uh, your person. Tell me about your person spirit. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So I definitely feel like this person, this person is very spiritual. If this is a person that's coming into your life, I feel like this person is very spiritual. They're very hopeful for the future. Um, for your person, we also have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Yeah, so I feel like with this person, <clears throat> with this person who's coming into your life, I feel like, you know, this may be the Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, but I feel like there's a great need for this person to be true to their self. To be true to their destiny, true to what they believe in. And that very well could be this Queen of Pentacles energy. We have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay, so you may have no contact with this person. Um, you may live in different destinations. Maybe that's the reason why we see the... That you'll be traveling. That you'll be making plans. Um, but I feel like. At some point. This month. You're going to. Be reunited with this person. You're going to be. Physically. In each other's presence. Let's see. What do we have for you. Cancer. We have soulmates. Wow. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Wow. So this could be a soulmate that's coming into your life. This could be someone who's totally changing your perspective on your situation. Taking you away from this judgment and bringing more balance. For them, we have the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Okay. For this is this is some kind of ending. And I believe that has something to do with the Tower moment. Um, but I believe like this is a transformation in your situation. Um... This may be someone that you thought the relationship was over with. And now it's truly transforming. Let's see. Yeah, I'm getting two totally different messages. Uh, we have the Grim Reaper and we have love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Yeah, so I feel like with this Grim Reaper, I feel like this person may have ended a relationship. They may have ended something to be with you. Because I feel like... Okay, they're letting you know that this is over now. This is over. Now I'm ready. I'm available. And now they they see you with this unconditional love. With this pure admiration of finally being able to be together. So if, if there was a situation to where, you know, someone was in a relationship and they weren't really available at the moment, but you really wanted to pursue them or they really wanted to pursue you. I feel like they figured out their, their circumstances and now they're ready to move forward with the situation. They're ready to come close to you, Cancer. 
they're ready to start this new journey, this new beginning. That may be that tower moment that had to happen. Maybe you had to end something with somebody or the person that you're interested in had to end something with somebody in order for this new beginning to unfold. Okay. And I feel like that may be the good news that you're hearing too. Let's see. Let's get some more clarification on this. Tell me more for Cancer, Spirit. Tell me more for Cancer. Yeah, we have the, the Four of Pentacles. So there's something that you've been holding on to. I feel like this is something that you've been holding on to yourself. You've been keeping this very secretive. You haven't really been telling anybody about the situation. This may be a secret love that you're kind of holding on to. Uh, but I feel like this is you definitely holding on to something. You're protecting this. The Queen of Pentacles again. It's definitely the Queen of Pentacles who's coming forward for you. This is bringing more resources, more possibilities. Um, I, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, this could be an Earth sign, a Capricorn, a uh, Taurus, Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles, it's more stable, more solid, more grounded. It's bringing more balance. You know, look how she's looking at that pinnacle. She's looking at that pinnacle with a lot of pride, a lot of admiration. You know, and I feel like this situation, it, you're finding value in this situation. And I feel like they're finding a lot of value with you. Okay, I feel like there's going to be a lot of juggling going on. Um in February I feel like you have to make time for a situation or they have to make time for you now there's a lot of pinnacles in this in this clarification so I feel like this is something that is bringing you a lot more stability it's something that's going to be long lasting um, but I do feel like there are things that you need to juggle some kind of plans may need to be revised or changed um, setting your priorities will be very important because I feel like you know you're gonna feel like you need to make time for this but I feel like you're you're having trouble trying to fit the time wow another pinnacle so definitely good news coming your way I feel like this is making you feel very balanced very abundant very happy this is also you feeling more grounded um, I feel like whatever this Queen of Pentacles is, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, she's bringing a lot of stability to the situation. And I feel like this Queen of Pentacles, now you could be male or female, but I'm referring to the card the way I'm referring to the card. Um, but this Queen of Pentacles is bringing in some kind of new information to you that you're finding very valuable hmm the page of swords yeah something's got your curiosity something is making you want to look further into the situation this is you kind of studying the situation Pi uh, cancer I feel like you and this person are doing a lot of communicating. You may be talking to each other a lot. I feel like this is a lot of communication. Wow. We have the full card again. You're definitely going on a new journey. This is new discoveries, new passions, a new path that you're following. And I feel like with this full card, now you've got the full card twice. Look at this. This is new adventure. Some kind of new situation is unfolding. You're following a new path. You know, you're, you're thinking about taking risks and following wherever this path leads you. This is innocence. This is purity. This is something brand new that's starting. Um, so I feel like this is going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of excitement. You know, um, 
the point of the fool is to not carry any baggage. You know, he's going on his destination. He's moving through his path. But he's not carrying all the old weight with him. You know, he's let go of all the baggage. He's released it into the universe. And he's moving with just his companion. He's, he's only carrying with him exactly what he needs on his journey. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're moving towards the situation. The Eight of Wands is forward movement. It's being very assertive. It's also active communication coming into you. So I feel like there's a lot of communication back and forth. Um, I feel like you and this person are talking a lot. Uh, you may get text messages or you may get some kind of DMs or some kind of emails, some kind of phone calls. And I feel like before you hang up, they're calling back or they're texting back. You know, I, I feel like there's a lot of communication here. There's a lot of talking back and forth, making plans, being assertive, taking action. And I feel like it's bringing you a lot of happiness. This new beginning is going to bring you celebrations. It's going to bring you get-togethers. Um, there's a union happening here. This is you finding that new purpose. Finally being grounded. Finally having that rebirth. A renewed hope. You know, I feel like, Cancer, you're leaving a place where you've always been. And you're going on this new journey. And <clears throat> it's bringing you so much inspiration. So much hope for the future. Um, I feel like this is a total rebirth of... Moving away from your comfort zone into something bigger and better. Um, you no longer feel judged in that bad way. You know, you have the judgment card twice. So I definitely feel like you're going from a feeling of being judged to having the ability to renew your spirit. Having the ability to find focus. To find your purpose. You know, um... You're making a final decision that's going to push you into this new adventure. This new meaning. Okay, we're going to get one more card because I really want to know more about this. Tell me more about this for Cancer. The Magician. You've manifested this. You've manifested this into your life. This is something that your dreams were made of. You're, you're, you've dreamed up this situation so many times and you've wanted it so badly to come into your life and you've manifested it from heaven down to earth. You have all of the resources you need to make this transpire, to make this come to life. And so I feel like you're in that creating phase. You're creating this new lifestyle, this new adventure, this new... Um, love interest you know and I feel oh my gosh look at this you have the ten of pentacles at the bottom it's going to bring you so much happiness so much um, prosperity so much good health it's going to bring you a lot of happiness so oh my gosh cancer I feel like you're in for the journey of your life this is total, total um, excitement, finding your life purpose, going on this new journey. And I feel like you're going to be very overwhelmed at times, but I feel like you're going to be overwhelmed with excitement, you know, for what is to come. Okay, Cancer, this is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I'll have all of them uploaded by tomorrow. And Cancer. Until your next reading, many blessings to you. Have a wonderful ride. Love and light.